Well, the sky sure does look a bit ominous. That typhoon's supposed to be heading this way right now, and we'll see what it does. If you live in Japan, you know it's not just earthquakes you need to be ready for, but the occasional typhoon as well. Wow. It's your turn. I need it. I need it. Well, do what you need to do. Are you? Do what you need to do. Okay. We're playing a new game, Tick to Ride. This is our first time playing it. We bought it when we were in the States, and now things are getting intense. Typhoons are massive tropical storms that are called hurricanes on the Atlantic Ocean or cyclones on the Indian Ocean. These storms can really disrupt life, so you best be prepared. Nice. Dude, that was awesome. That was awesome? You're awesome. Well, it's bedtime for the Rider Kids, and the forecast says a ton of rain over the next 24 hours. Have you guys ever got to skip school because of a typhoon? Yeah, I think five times. Like it five was, times? It was awesome fun. Well, it's just barely starting to drizzle, but I'm coming here to set up something very special. A new studio desk, a new studio chair, in a new studio space. Yes. Here we go. The typhoon is moving in today, so I'm taking the girls to school. <laughs> Daddy, why does everybody love America? Why do you love America? Because they speak English. Oh, I see, okay. It's trampoline parks. Trampoline parks. Iron Coyote. Iron Coyote? That's my favorite place. Oh, yeah. And there's an ice cream shop. Ice cream shop? They have ice cream shops here. I know, but there's a lot of ice cream flavor. Well, girls, the big part of the store is supposed to be coming in while you're at school. Yeah. Dude, it is really raining out there. Did you see that? Yeah, I can see how cool it is. We have to run out to go do your doctor's appointment too. In the rain, dude. It's kind of chilly just a little bit. It's so chilly. <laughs> We're gonna head out into the craziness. Look at that. Route may be affected by Typhoon Mindui. Is that how they're saying it? Typhoon number 16. Here we go, out into the elements. Got this new doctor. Yeah, so we've been going every day there. You only head out in a typhoon if you must, and we need to see Joshua's doctor. Okay, we're here. They're jumping out because it's so rainy. All right, I'll be right there. It is just really raining, so here we go. I gotta go out in this. <laughs> Got my little umbrella. I don't know how much good it'll do. I need a little umbrella to stop me for this kind of weather. In other typhoons, I've taken down my studio and moved the gear upstairs just in case of flooding. But this time, I'm taking down the studio gear for good, at least here in this location. Over the last two years, typhoons haven't been the only storm to hit Japan. The biggest storm to hit was that of Corona, and just like in many other places in the world, people began working from home. The dynamics of working from home are completely different, full of positives and negatives. I've been working from home for over 14 years now, so I've had some experience. But the last three years, not only have I worked from home, but my office has been in my bedroom. Well, not anymore. I wasn't able to finish it all, but I got to go pick up Sarah. I don't want the girls walking back in the middle of a typhoon. I'm going to pick them up in the car. Oh, I guess I see that. Good friends of ours are traveling for a number of months and asked us to look after their place. So I get to use it as my temporary home office. This is our seventh year living in Japan. 
and we always had these typhoons come through and to us they just seem like huge rainstorms but every once in a while you get one that's really windy really fierce or you get one like what we had a couple years ago and it dumps so much rain all over Japan that it's mega dangerous Two years ago, Typhoon Hagabus, one of the largest typhoons to ever be recorded, hit Japan's mainland and caused tremendous damage. Oh my god. We gotta close this. This is intense. It's 8 o'clock. Oh yeah, it's starting to hit here. The worst is about to come. It was nearly 1,000 miles wide and this superstorm dumped so much water that we were in danger of losing our house to flooding. This footage from the 26th episode of Life in Japan was later used by National Geographic as they did a whole series on destructive storms. It's just crazy. It looks like it's holding steady which is good news for us. Though the Tama River, just like many other rivers in Japan, overflowed its banks all along the river, it didn't overflow the last barrier of the levees near our home. Many others were not as fortunate. It was the day we almost lost our house. So we've learned to respect the typhoon. <laughs> so I had to park my car because they're not letting the little kids out. The parents have to go and actually pick them up and walk with them on the way back. Otherwise, they hold the kids until later when the older kids get out and can walk with them. There's a river going through the middle of this thing. Look who I've got here. Sarabara, also known as Sarachan. Also known as Saraski. <laughs> Also known as Sarah Bearski. How many others? <laughs> What's going on out here, Anna? I'm Becca. Becca, what's going on out here? Thunderstorm. Thunderstorm. Whoa, sure enough. Holy cow. It was going well for the wrong time wedding. What a show. I saw the first strike. This is you my saw TV. the first strike? Daddy, this is my TV. This is a great kind of TV. With a drink, not electronic. <laughs> it's not electronic. Although it's electric. Whoa. Why? No, no, it's so good. Isn't this so it's cool? It's too scary. It's cold. Okay, Simon says say hi to the camera 10 times. Hi, 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 What is hi, going on down hi, here, hi. huh? Simon says say daddy, daddy. But look at the camera and say daddy. Simon says look at the camera and say daddy. <laughs> daddy. Oh my goodness. Animal Crossing villagers here? No, 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 we just made it up. It says Animal Crossing right on the top. I know, we wish this, this kind of village up. Oh. So if somebody make Animal Crossing villagers, please make one of these. Like, oh. like this too, this too. Oh, cool. Well, the typhoon has passed, and now it's just a beautiful day. It's always beautiful after a typhoon comes through. So I'm heading to finish all my work. All right, we got the chair and the desk done. I got some cleanup to do, but now it's ready for the next phase, which is bringing over studio gear. This is gonna be a big one. Now I'm going to set up the equipment in one room while Ruth is setting up for the green screen in another room. Ooh. It's nice. Yeah. Oh, this can be perfect for the recordings. Let there be light. Whoa. Whoa. What? Ru 
room is this? Are we gonna have a proper bedroom for once? <laughs> what is this? Does this look so different? That's our couch. We just moved it to the middle. <laughs> Everything got moved to over to the other room. Around. Oh, this is so <laughs> It's like a real bedroom again. Uh. All right, now it's time for the next phase of the mission, which is setting up keyboards here, my other keyboards, uh, setting up wall foam, and some other little details like plants that really make a difference. Oh, we have a guest, a guest performer. Okay, guest performer, let's hear how it goes. Because of that. <laughs> Nothing like throwing some rocks in the river, huh, dude? There they go! Whoa! Watch me, how far can you Okay, go? let's see. How far can you throw it, Becca? Okay. I don't want to hit the camera like this. Okay. Ready? Oh, there you go. It doesn't matter where you live, who you are, or what your background is. Storms of all sorts are sure to come in life. But something else is also true of storms. They are temporary. And if you can just hang on long enough, you'll see the dawning of a new bright day. So where does the hope to hold on come from? Well, ours comes from our faith in God and strong connections with others. These are forces that are even greater than the biggest storms life can throw at you. Next time on Life in Japan, we take an unforgettable trip as we soar over an active volcano. Subscribe so you don't miss the next Life in Japan. Oh, wow. Whoa. Whoa.